Okay, mathematicians, welcome back. So today we're going to be practicing a different number sense routine than what we practiced yesterday. I know this whole week and last week we've been pushing this idea of making tens, and we are going to talk about it in this number sense routine. But if you saw some of our videos from last week, you know that we were also using some post-its, putting different numbers on them, and then actually just thinking in our heads what would be 10 more, what would be 10 less, and practicing making number sentences based off of those numbers. So we're going to do that again today. And the first number we're going to practice with is the number 12. Ready? So think with the number 12, what would be 10 more? So what would be 10 more mathematicians? What is it? 22. Okay, so let's take that number 12 again. And I'm going to give you a bit more time this go around to think what would be 10 less. Ready? A few more seconds compared to last time. Thinking in your head, what would be 10 less? Think. For the number 12, 10 more was 22. But this time, think, what would be 10 less? If you have someone whom you can talk to and share your thinking, go ahead. Jimbo. Sorry, my dogs are in the background. Jim, you're fine. Give these mathematicians some thinking time. Thank you. Okay, so what we so what would be 10 less? Two. Great work, mathematicians. Are you ready to do the next number? Okay, so let's think. Our next number is going to be 14. So again, think what would be 10 more? And what would be 10 less? You might want to do both at the same time, or you might want to do one that you think might be easier for you to warm up your thinking a bit, and then do the next one right after. So again, a few seconds to think. And let's start off with 10 more. So if you did 14 and 10 more, what would that lead to? 24. Great work. And if you did 10 less, so 14 and 10 less, that would be what? 4. I bet some of you are already noticing a pattern with the answers. And so the next number is going to be super easy for you. You're going to feel so confident doing the next one. Ready? So let's practice with the number 16. Ready? So think with 16, what would be 10 more? And what would be 10 less? And again, I think some of you already noticed a pattern with the answers, but it's still wonderful to practice your thinking. So 16 and 10 more, what would be the answer? 26, great work. And then if you got 16 and took 10, away. So if you had 16 but then you needed to take 10 away, what would that be? 6. Great work. And are you ready for the last one, mathematicians? A team. Ready? So again, think what is 10 more? And then what is 10 less? Turn and talk until someone next to you. Are you ready? Come together in three, two, one. So 18 and 10 more would lead to 28. 
and 18 and 10 less would lead to what? 8. Now comes the part that I really want you to try and do at home. Even if you're following along on paper already and you're like, wait, I already did too much work. I think I want to take a break. Push yourself to do the next part. And if you're someone who was doing all this work in your head, great. Go ahead and get another piece of paper so you can practice this next part. I'm going to give you about one minute to try and see if you can make the number sentences that match these words and give you these answers. You think you can try that? Go get that piece of paper if you haven't done it already. Are you almost ready? Okay, so remember you're going to look at each number and then write a number sentence that matches it in three, two, one. back together. Stop. Okay, so let's see how far you got. Ready? So if you wrote the number sentences up here to match, you probably wrote something like this. Where 10 plus, sorry, 12 plus 10 more equals 22 and 12 take away 10 equals 2 to match what we practiced up here. Did you do that? Great. If you did this one, you might have done something like this. Or 14 plus 10 equals 24, and then 14 take away 10 equals 4. Are you ready to do the next ones together if you didn't get to them? And it's okay if you didn't get to them. Miss Juarez didn't get to them either because my dogs were being a little bit crazy while I was giving you that one minute. So let's think. Ready? If we had 16 and we were thinking about 16 and 10 more, so do you see how that number sentence already matches that? Where we got the first number, added 10 more, and just had to complete it with our answer? And then thinking again with this number, 16 and taking away 10, do you see how that number sentence matches this part? It's pretty much the same thing, except we're just thinking about it in numbers. We first thought about it in words, and now we're just thinking about it in numbers. So if you didn't get to the last one, just do it together with us. So think about the first number, 18, adding 10 more, and that leading to your answer that we first did in words. And then doing the next number sentence, 18 take away 10, leading to 8, or equaling, totaling 8. It's the same thing, except first we thought about it in words, and now we're thinking about it in numbers. So I hope that you were able to show your work as best as you could. Thank you for working with me again today. I can't wait to work with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.